Hey guys, I had trouble recording this, so um, I'll be honest, I'm just going to... Basically, the audio just wouldn't record for me, so what I'm doing is just placing new audio over the video. So um, if it looks a bit weird, like I'm not actually um, in sync with the PowerPoint, then that's the reason why. Um, sorry, it's just the only kind of way I, can, I know how to do it. But anyway, today I'm bringing you a zombie event idea. So this is kind of niche, and I know for a fact that... Some people are going to say that there's not enough stuff here. There isn't enough buildings, for sure. Um, I think that's the biggest issue with this if, this event. But most most years, I do like a Halloween uh, event idea. Like I just kind of ramble through loads of like content they could add. And I've never actually... Well, I have done a few ideas before, but... I don't know. I'm a big zombie fan, so I figured, why not they do a zombie update? So I looked through all the episodes that, inc that include zombies. And um, there's definitely a lot of characters they could give us. Um, for sure, uh, buildings is something it lacks, and decorations in a way. But there are kind of like a lot of kind of, I guess, sort of meaningless decorations, like decorations they could add, but really aren't that great. And I've gone through some of them here anyway. But this is my zombie event, so this is my idea for Halloween. Obviously, they're probably not going to do this, but um, it's fun just to go through them and do this once a year. So first of all. Um, I'm just waiting for it, the PowerPoint. Um, here we go, the event starts. Uh, <clears throat> so, basically, um, this event's going to... Uh, I haven't really done a quest line for this entire thing because I spent so long trying to, like, researching and finding all the different things they can add. So, I ha I'll be honest, I haven't really done much in terms of... Well, I haven't done anything in terms of quest line. But I'm thinking maybe that we have this little book thing, as you can see I'm highlighting there, uh, the book on the stand, and that will be a decoration. Possibly the Snowball One Grave, but I have talked about the Snowball One Grave before. Um, so they could just have, give us the magic book on the stand, that would work. Or maybe even the magic book floating, that'd be kind of cool, as it does in the episode. Um, so basically, this is... Um, this the quest line is going to be basically that Lisa wants to resurrect all the dead town members, and then maybe they could do some jokes like Edna being like, "Well, I'm dead and I'm here," and Maud being like, "I'm dead, I'm here." I don't know. That could be kind of funny. But she wants to raise um, and bring back some old friends, um, and that of course causes these different stages of zombie waves. So we're going to get like a Wild West zombie wave uh, phase. We're going to get a. Um, kind of like new like muncher stage or like in a way like raven ravendish fast zombies classic zombies and then we're gonna get future zombies um uh, different like so kind of different stages I, I think this kind of kind of be cool the structure of it because i feel like some 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 events um you know halloween events don't really have a brilliant structure uh like like the magic event like the magic event bad but um it had a good structure at least so anyway, moving on, we're in Act 1. Um, so this is Act 1. So first of all, there's the Goldie Grave for 25 Donuts. This is basically like a family fish that they had, and it was just there in the in the episode. This will earn currency, like all the other graves. All the graves will earn currency. So they're not buildings, but they're decorations that earn currency. Uh, this is something they've done before, so I think um, it, it'd be kind of cool. Obviously, there's the Goldie Grave. Um, over here we have the swing set, the gun swing set, so and the slide. So these are in the episode. Uh, obviously, they all hand in their guns and they use the guns to make slides and swings. I think there might be in the merry go round as well. Uh, so they can add all of them in the uh, thing, and so these will be like nine hundred or nine thousand, whatever that is. Uh, and these will be permanent things in the game for the entire event, and then they'll go after the event. So they'll be permanent for the event, so you can you don't have to whatever actor and you can buy them. And then finally, is the premium is uh, Kaiser Wilhelm with uh, Kaiser Wilhelm's grave, so that will of course earn cash. And Kaiser Wilhelm, as as well as all the Wild West, uh, famous Wild West, obviously Kaiser Wilhelm, of course, being a very famous Wild West cowboy. <laughs> that was the joke of the episode. Um, uh, they'll all ride their horses, so they'll be unique in the fact that they'll be riding their horses around town uh, in your in your town anyway. So that's the store. And I figured we'd for a deal, big uh, guilds deal. So for two fifty, I feel like two. I put two fifty here, but I meant two hundred. For two hundred donuts, we're going to get Frank uh, James and Jesse James as a two in one character. So they'll both be together. I feel like they'll be quite big though, you know? Like they'll, they'll be like, it'll be quite large them both walking around. Uh, but you get them as a two in one character. So that's the Gills deal. Here I was kind of checking if they were um, definitely a two in one character, but <laughs> um, ignore that. Um, yeah, they are a two in one character. So yeah, that's the Gills deal there. I think 
they'd be you know they're two famous wild west cowboys so it's pretty cool um and then we have the prize track here so it's going to start the very first prize is going to be the sundance kid which is right here of course you can see him there um i don't know why i keep going back to this goddamn girls deal um <laughs> the second prize is actually the springfield guns uh, for cash drive wherever you want uh so this is like a little stand that the police sit on uh, this is going to be a building, although it is kind of a crappy building, admittedly. Um, so, yeah, um, that's our second bit, second prize. Third prize is actually a time-traveling Homer costume. Now, I think this is really interesting because, of course, it was uh, a part of the episode. It was like a bit of a gag of the episode, but I definitely think it will be really kind of cool to have. That's the third one along, by the way. And um, the fourth prize is going to be William H. Bonney's grave with the Sundance Kids grave. And these both are going to earn cash like the other graves. Uh, so yeah, there'll be um, some cool decorations. Not, not amazing decorations, like I said, but um, yeah, regardless, whatever. And then finally, you get Billy the Kid or William H. Bonney if you want as the final prize. Of course, he was the main antagonist in that, in that Halloween skit. So it makes sense to add him as... The final prize, um, so yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> that's it for Act 1 anyway. Let's move on to Act 2. So, Act 2. So we have, first of all, this kind of thing here. I think I put it for 25 donuts. Let me just double check. I don't even remember. Um, I can't actually see, you see, because Sony Vegas is really annoying. But you get that thing, which basically, uh, the thing that Bart bathed in for the cure, and he used to give it out. So that all included an animation with Bart. Um, you know, with the little ladle handing out the uh, soup he's been, he's been uh, bathing in. And then also you get the Burger 2 sign for 20 donuts. Um, obviously that little bathe thing will be 40. It's a bit more expensive because you get an animation with it. Uh, the Burger 2 thing for 20 donuts, like I said. Uh, really kind of cool uh, billboard that flashes. So, yeah. And then finally, the, the kind of premium character is the crazy survivor for 65 donuts. Admittedly, admittedly, this is a stretch. I think this one, this, this like... Halloween thing is really bad for characters. So he's kind of a bit of a flimsy character, but I think they can make it work. He kind of had a funny moment in there. So I definitely think they can do something with him. And then next up we have the prizes. So the first prize is actually going to be the uh, crusty burger, like destroyed trust or like post-apocalyptic crusty burger, whatever you will. Um, I know there is one in the game, but it doesn't have a banner. And I feel like this could be a separate building instead of a skin. Um, so this is after the Krusty 2 fiasco that happened. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I like the look of this. I think it'd be kind of cool as a second building. And a perfect thing to kick off the prize with, because that's obviously what started the apocalypse, the, the burger. Uh, the second thing is a wall of cars. Now, this is actually going to be a building that you can buy multiple of. So once um, you've bought one, um, it's going to be, or well, once you've unlocked the first one, there's, it's going to unlock in the store for you to buy with donuts. So you can buy multiple if you'd like. Uh, so this is literally like a barricade of cars. I just think this would be a really kind of cool um, deck, uh, building to have uh, slash decoration. I mean, it's more of a building. I think they'll just have it as a building. Again, I'm stretching buildings, all right? And it'll, yeah, go in the store. The third one is, of course, the safe zone. This one is probably the best building in the entire event, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, so this is like a walled off community, uh, you know, like it will it'll be like a building within a building sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's the safe zone. Uh, the fourth prize is, of course, this little cage thing with Homer in it. Ignore my little pointer. Um, so this will include an animation. will make zombie Homer. Oh, something I forgot to mention. That book at the start, that little book on the stand, um, that's going to have a whole, like, instead of sending characters like normally you would in a mini event, you're going to have to make them these different stages of zombies. So there's lots of animation. So you get the classic zombies, you get the future zombies, and you get the munchers, and you get the... The Wild West, I guess, they'll have to just do classic zombies. They'll have to repeat the classic zombies thing. But it basically, that little book at the start, that's how you earn the event currency, which is going to be brains. Event currency is brains. And the final prize is Survivor or Pooh. This is obviously the uh, the get-up he was in when he helped the Simpsons family. Uh, also, his car that's in the um, uh, episode is actually already in the game. So, obviously, that will be re-added into the game. Um, of course, and because it will include any animation with big old El Poo. But anyway, let's move on to the next act. So the next act is going to be classic zombies. Um, so in the store, we're going to be able to get a Shakespeare with zombie Shakespeare for 120 donuts. So that is both the character of Shakespeare and then a skin for zombie Shakespeare. So you actually, um, it's not just one character. 
And then also in store is going to be a skin for George Washington. So George Washington will return from the uh, 4th of July updates. And you get a zombie skin for him. So you can make George Washington a zombie. Um, so yeah, yeah it's kind of cool. That's the store. And then moving on, we have the prize track. So um, this is, first of all, the first prize is a character. This is Sudokes. Uh, this is the zombie that turns Flanders in the episode. She's obviously like an older friend, friend of the Flanders family. So I think it'd be kind of cool to get her. Uh, the next prize is the occult section or occult, se occult, occult she section. So this is like a thing inside the uh, library, I think, or possibly the school. I think it's the library. Um, so it's like a big archway. So this will be a building, and I know it's like a part, of, it's an interior of a building, but I think it looks kind of, it, it, the look of it means, I reckon, so it look a little like the stone cutters tunnel. So it'll be a big arch. So inside the arch, you can see the books. And then the side of the arch is just be like the concrete. So the concrete that you can see there, as my point is kind of pointing out, that would be like the side of the building. Um, the third character, third prize is a skin for Lisa. This is Snail Lisa. Enough said. This this would be such a cool skin. Like, come on. <laughs> and I know it wasn't a massive part of the episode, but I don't care. It's awesome. Uh, the fourth prize is John Smith and John Smith 1882. This will be a two-in-one character combo, uh, like the um, Billy, the, uh, like the uh, Grind, uh, not the Grinds, the Jameses. Um, yeah, I think there's not enough to make them their own character, but they're definitely a, a funny part of the episode, so I, I thought they have, they have to include it. And then the final prize is going to be Einstein and Zombie Einstein um, together as one, um, so you get both the skin and the character. Uh, and I know that this, this act is very skin and character based, and I understand that. That doesn't have to be a bad thing, though. Like I feel like buildings is going to be something they're going to get. It's going to be harder for them in the future, so I don't know. I think this could work. Although it wouldn't be amazing. Anyway, moving on to Act 4? Yeah, 4. <laughs> so first of all, this is the future zombie. So first of all, the first thing is the used brains um, container cart thing, me jingy. Um, I don't know why I'm going back here. But um, so this will basically, that little thing you saw, uh, once you unlock it, it will go back into, um, it will go into the store once you've unlocked it, first time you've unlocked it. Um, this is really annoying. <laughs> This is what I get for not fixing my audio settings. Um, give me a sec. I think we're going to go back. Um, I don't know why I'm talking. Oh, yeah. I think this part of the video I was telling you the different stages because uh, this was the future zombies. Anyway, <laughs> you also get the asteroid, uh, the zombie asteroid, sorry, with the zombie uh, father and son. Again, these are going to be a two-in-one character just because I don't think they're enough to sustain, um, you know, two separate characters. So there you go. Apologies for all the issues in this video. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the prizes. So, um, the used brain, obviously, that will be the first thing, as I said before. That's in store, but um, it's only unlocked after you've unlocked it. Uh, the second prize is Terence, and I think Terence is actually really cool. He's not actually even got his own wiki page, but I, I Lisa name dropped him in the episode, so his name's Terence, and he's this kind of um, <laughs> this really like. This is the guy who bites Millhouse, but he, I don't know. I thought he's pretty cool. Uh, you get the zombie rescue mission. This is probably the coolest building in the one of the coolest buildings in the game in the act, obviously. Um, building we definitely need. Uh, and then the next is Swapper Jacks. Now the reason Swapper Jacks is here is it's the place where Lisa buys Millhouse's kind of um, fake brains that he eats that aren't actual brains, but stops him from eating real brains, sort of thing. Um, so that's the reason that's there. Uh, because of that, uh, because obviously you can swap for, you can buy these fake brains. So that's the reason that building's there. And then the final prize is Zombie Millhouse. Now, um, and yes, it will be a character because at this point, I'd rather just them just be consistent than than you know it making sense it being a costume. Um, but there you go. Um, they could add real Millhouse, and I guess they could add both real house and uh, future Millhouse and future zombie Millhouse. But I find we're just future zombie Millhouse. Really, I'm not bothered about getting a future Millhouse. I mean, they could add him if they want. I mean, tell me your thoughts. I don't, I don't, I don't really care though. But anyway, that's it for the quest line. So maybe at the end they like they realize that everyone should live in harmony with the zombies. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, we're on to tasks. So we got Kaiser Wilhelm there. Oh, oh hang on, I'm going back. But anyway, I'll go through Kaiser Wilhelm's. So Kaiser Wilhelm has got do a cowboy impression for 16 minutes, which will be like an animation of him 
pretend to be a cowboy, collect guns for four hours, discuss terms of terror for six hours, terrorize businesses for eight hours, straddle his horse for 12 hours, him like galloping his horse into the air, and then rest in his grave, which will be in the cemetery. Obviously, the cemetery will be returning. Uh, then you have um, the, the Jameses shoot up the town for 60 minutes, which will be an animation, collect guns for four hours, fight over who's the best outlaw for six hours, terrorize Moe's for eight hours, terrorize the town for 12 hours, that'll be an animation. Uh, the one the shoot up the town will not include their horses, but the terrorizer town will include the horses and rest in his grave. Actually, that should be in their graves for 24 hours. Um, that's what I get for copying and pasting. <laughs> and then with the Sundance Kid, you have uh, Slander Butch Cassidy for 60 minutes animation, him like wagging his finger and being mad. But obviously, there was that whole joke in the thing where they said, Where's Butch Cassidy? Obviously, Butch Cassidy was like. With the real life outlaw, I think they were like partners or something. Anyway, collect guns for four hours, terrorize Moe's for eight hours, terrorize the town for 12 hours, that will obviously be on a horse, and then rest in his grave for 24 hours at the cemetery. And then you have Billy the Kid, the main one, shoot up in the air for 60 minutes, as you can see he's doing in the picture. Collect guns, hang on. Collect guns for four hours, this is what I get, man. Um, terrorize Moe's for eight hours, uh, terrorize the town for 12 hours, animation, and then rest in his grave. Then we have both The Crazy Survivor and Shakespeare. So we have Scare Survivors for 60 minutes. That will be him kind of getting a bit crazy like he's doing there. Uh, hide from Zombies for four hours in the brown house. Find junk to collect for six six hours, possibly in a dumpster, maybe. Go crazy for 12 hours. That will be an animation. That will be him literally like jumping up and down, going mental. And then rest in the safe zone for 24 hours, uh, obviously in the safe zone. Then we have Shakespeare. Be holy for 60 minutes. Animation. That will be this thing here. Um... Then you have write another epic for four hours, probably the library. Watch film adaptations for six hours, possibly in the Aztec theater. Write zombie play for eight hours, obviously, probably in the library. Go sculling for 12 hours, that would be the thing you can see he's doing there with the skull and his penis. And then restore reputation for 24 hours, that will be probably in the town hall, maybe. Let's say the town hall, that makes the most sense. Then we have both Pseudokes and the Johns. So attack Flanders for 60 minutes, there will be an animation of her attacking Flanders. Return to life for four hours, this will be the retirement home. Go to zombie rescue for six hours, obviously the zombie rescue. Search for brains for 12 hours, her kind of walking around, searching for brains as the zombies do in the episode. And then return to the grave for 24 hours, over, obviously over at her grave. And then we have the Johns. Mix up graves for 60 minutes. This will be an animation. This will actually spawn their graves instead of actually having the graves be another decoration, which they could be. I mean, to be fair, if they are, they are. Like, that. that's fine. I'd be fine with either, really. But if not, they could just spawn on the town and then just, like, kind of mix in the graves. Search for variants for four hours. Go to the zombie rescue for eight hours. Fight over who's the best John Smith. Better John Smith for 12 hours. This will actually be an animation of them fighting, which wasn't in the episode, so it'll be something they'll have to design. I don't know, they've done that before, like design, so maybe they could do something there. And then return to Graves for 24 hours, obviously, over at the Old Cemetery. Next up, we have Einstein. So invent light shoes for 60 minutes. This will be the thing that's on the right there. Him like kind of dancing around with those shoots. That will be the shoes. Sorry. Reach a, research zombies for four hours. I want this to be. I basically want there to be a whole thing with both Shakespeare and Einstein, um, where we implement their characters into this event. So Shakespeare's writing about zombies while Einstein's researching zombies. So uh, come up with memorable quotes for eight hours. Probably the brown house struggle with math for twelve hours. That'll be the the picture there below it and then solve quantum physics for that should be 24 hours there um then we have the uh, zombies uh there's two zombies uh ride the asteroid for 60 minutes this will be the asteroid so the asteroid i should have said the asteroid uh will be like a building that hovers like in your town so it just kind of hovers like other things like the satellites and stuff do i should have mentioned this before i did mention this in my initial video um so when they're on it it basically flies across your town like like army pilots in the helicopter go to zombie rescue for four hours discuss chips over brains for six hours plan to conquer for eight hours get annoyed at each other for 12 hours then kind of like this won't include the asteroid but then just kind of getting annoyed arguing and then feast on brains for 24 hours probably maybe i don't know the hospital <laughs> um I'm not sure. I'm not sure about maybe, possibly, maybe when they enter the asteroid, it always just like kind of moves across the screen, possibly. Anyway, we have Terence. 
The bike mail house for 60 minutes is obviously this is an animation that includes mail house. Go to or includes zombie mail house. Go to the zombie rescue for four hours. Fight for zombie rights for eight hours. Probably the time hall. Eat there. Food for 12 hours. Him eating his plate of su supplement brains there on the thing. And then avoid the cure for 24 hours probably in, in the, I don't know, the brown house maybe. And then we have uh, zombie, future zombie mail house. Go full zombie for 60 minutes. That's an animation. Go to the zombie rescue for four hours. Make Lisa love him more for six hours. Shop uh, for vegetarian brains. Obviously, a swap for jacks for eight hours. Attack bullies for 12 hours. I'm not sure how to do that because he basically attacks the bullies with Ralph. Um, so maybe he just has a pair of legs and he's just attacking like a future Dolph. I don't know. And then wait for the cure set in for 24 hours. Um, that would probably be like the brown house. And then we're on to costumes. So we got be killed in the past for 60 minutes. And this is on future uh, time traveling Homer. So him just getting shot over and over again. What about outlaws and guns for four hours? Probably the gun stand. Tell people about the future for six hours. Maybe the town hall. Travel back and forth for 12 hours. This will be an animation of him like will willing out in and out like he does in the episode and stop guns for 24 hours over at the stand probably then we have our poo shoot up munchers for 60 minutes him just shooting some random munchers in the town try to get past the car wall for four hours this will be him at the car wall prepare guns for eight hours at the quickie mart ride in truck for 12 hours so this will be an animation that includes the truck that was obviously already added which will basically like make it move on the road to so him just riding around it around the town which they have done before with the ice the ice car so they can do it and then hide in the brown house for 24 hours obviously in the brown house i love a good brown house task moving on in a sec we have the zombie Shakespeare, so die dramatically for 60 minutes. This will be him literally dying dramatically. Um, return as an undead parrot for four hours. Go, uh, I don't know where that will be, somewhere. Uh, maybe the library. Go to the zombie rescue for six hours. Write play about zombie rights for eight hours. Probably the library, yeah. Search for brains for 12 hours. Him waltzing around as the zombies do. And then return to grave for 24 hours, obviously, over at the cemetery. Then we have... Um, Washington, die presidentially for 60 minutes. Again, him just dying. Take over government for four hours. I really love this idea of doing this in, in his um, quest line. Doing like the whole task of him wanting to take over the government and then install zombie rights. So you got zombie, go to the zombie rescue for six hours and then uh, pass Bill and zombie rights for eight hours. Search for brains for 12 hours, which will be an animation. And then obviously him waltzing around and return to grave for 24 hours. Um, yeah, I know I've kind of copied them all. It feels like a st stay at the Solado, doesn't it, kind of thing. But it's only going to be the zombies, so I think it makes sense for the zombies to have all have all like a consistent task. Um, I don't know, and they all have a consistent animation as well. I feel I feel like that would be kind of cool, especially when you make them all do the their little walk and they're all walking around town looking for brains. Anyway, we have the snail Lisa, which I love. So you have Sly for sixty minutes, so just looking disappointed over and over again. Adapt to snail life for four hours. Hang with other snails for eight hours. Trail around town for twelve hours. Her just literally trailing around town, leaving like a slime kind of moist thing behind her. That'd be kind of cool. Look for spell reversal for twenty four hours, probably the library. And then we have Ice Nine die like a genius for sixty minutes, which is animation. Go to the zombie rescue for four hours. Make up new math. Zombie math for eight hours, probably the school. Search for brains for 12 hours again. That'll be the animation that they all have. And then return to grave for 24 hours over at the cemetery, which of course will be returning. Um, and then I have one more surprise character. In my dreams, they had Daryl. <laughs> obviously, this was a little joke. Um, obviously, they wouldn't, but um, I just thought I'd include it in there. Um, obviously, they wouldn't, though. But anyway, that is my zombie event as a whole. Like I said, it's very niche. It's not like um, there's loads of content here at all. Like, this is everything they could add if they wanted to do a zombie event. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is literally everything. And I think it barely... It just about makes an event. I definitely think, yes, it's very character-based and not um, particularly um, building-based. And I think that is a big issue for it. But I still think they could make it work. Anyway, tell me your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.